Jay, Dad and I are going away for a few days. You stay home in charge. Guard the house. Do not let or open it to strangers. Mom, Dad, you needn't worry. I'm not a little kid, and I'll take care of everything. If you need anything, call me. Okay, Mom. All right, enough talking. We have got to go. Hi Charlie, my parents are gone. Moonlight can come and spend the night at my place. It will be fun. Oh, hello. Hey Jay, I'm outside your house. Go outside. There's an ice cream man. Hey mister, I want to buy one ice cream cone please. <laughs> Damn it. Where are you taking Charlie? Going to kill some kids today. I'm looking for the chump clubby ones. I'm going to find me some chubby kids and we're gonna make some ice cream fun. <laughs> Hey you, come out, I'm going to kill you. Oh, hello. I told you to come out, you bastard. <laughs> Do you really think you can kill me with your toy gun? This weapon is not a toy. I made it myself, and I'll kill you if you don't get this back. <laughs> What's that iron ladle on your head? <laughs> this is a helmet that will protect me. <laughs> You're very funny. Get out! Come on, shoot me. <laughs> now it's my turn. <laughs> what have you done? What's happening to me? <laughs> now you are a plump and fat boy. You have to make me skinny. <laughs>
Mike, I'll save you. I can't take it anymore. I have to call. Charlie. You and Lodge should come. Don't forget to call Mike. Hi friends. I'm glad to see you. Lies. Mike. Charlie. What is this little miracle? What's your name? My name is Anna, and I have my favorite Judy doll in my hand. You are a very good girl, Anna. Don't lose your doll. I'll try to keep it safe, Uncle Jay. Friends, let's go inside. Mom, can I play outside? Sure, but don't run into the road. Jay, why did you bring us here? When you called, you were so excited. Did something happen? I don't want to upset or frighten you, but I want to tell you some very bad news. What's the news, Jay? Children began to disappear again. Just as they did 30 years ago. Every day someone goes missing, and this is no reason to worry. He's back. Who's back, Jay? Rob is back. He's alive. What? This can't be happening. <laughs> Oh my god, what was it? Oh no, Anna. the chump clubby ones I'm going to find me some chubby kids and we're gonna make some ice cream fun Dad, wait. What's wrong, son? Dad, please stay home. I don't want you to go to work today. What's the matter, son? Why don't you want me to go to work? He's been acting weird all day. It's going to be alright, son. I'll come over tonight, and we'll watch some cool movie, with a huge cup of ice cream. Please, Dad. Stay home. I have to go to work. The school bus is coming soon. Don't be late for school. If you knew how I was treated at school, you would never have sent me there. I hope you come, and we can watch the movie together. Rod, it's time to get ready for school. Okay, Mom. Rod? I'm going to the temple to pray today. You'll be home alone until tonight. Okay mom, I'm used to sitting at home alone. Oh, another painful day at this stupid school.
chubby, 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 Wow, did Dad decide to come early to be with me? Dad, are you home? Is anyone home? What is this note? Dear Rod, your father was hit by some greeting, I couldn't handle it, and I can't go home. I'm sorry. Your father's van is near the house. I hope that you will continue his journey, and also please the children by selling them the most delicious ice cream in the world. Love your mother. Madeleine. No! <laughs> oh, hello. Hello, mister. Hey, buddy. It's my birthday, and I'm giving everyone free ice cream. Do you want me to treat you to the most delicious ice cream? Oh, yes, yes. I love ice cream. <laughs> Soon all the children of this city will be mine. <laughs> Dad, wait. What happened? Son. Dad, stay at home today, please. I don't want you to go to work today. What is it, son? Why don't you want me to go to work? He's been acting weird since this morning. Everything's gonna be alright. Son, when I come home from work, you and I will watch some awesome movie and eat a large ice cream sundae. Uh, Dad, please, stay home. It's time I left for work. The school bus must arrive soon. Don't be late for school. If you only knew how they treat me at school, you wouldn't have ever sent me there. I hope we would actually watch a movie together today. Rod, it's time you got ready for school. Okay, Mom. Rod, I will stay in the temple a while longer, so you'll be home alone after school. It's no big deal, Mom, I'm used to being home alone. Oh, another miserable day at this stupid school. Chubby. 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 Oh no. Chubby. 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 Oh, hi. Chubby boy.
Oh wow, did dad really decided to come home early to hang out with me? Dad, are you home? Is anyone home? What note is it? Dear Rod, a hit and run had happened to your father. And I couldn't cope with losing him and will not be back home. I'm sorry, your father's motorbike is next to the house, I hope you'll be just like your father. I hope you will make kids happy and sell them the most delicious ice cream in the world. Love, your mom Madeline. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, hello. Hello, mister. Hey, boy. Today's my birthday, and I'm giving ice cream for free. If you want to, I can give you tasty ice cream. Oh, yes, yes. I love ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Soon all the children in this small town will be mine. I was an ordinary boy. Like all children, I loved to play. My favorite toy was an airplane. It was old iron and rusty, but I liked it even more. Father, look how my airplane can fly. My father, he made ice cream, he had his own factory. He loved me. I don't remember my mother at all, my father doesn't talk about her. I always obeyed my father. The only thing he forbade me was to open and eat his ice cream made according to a special recipe. But it's not for nothing that they say that the forbidden fruit is sweet. The more he forbade me, the more I wanted to try this ice cream. And then one day, it happened. Here it is, ice cream with a secret ingredient. What is so unusual about this ice cream? I really wanted to find out, and so I immediately took one jar and tried it. I liked this ice cream so much that I started eating it every day, in secret from my father. But everything has consequences. A few months later, I got chubby from eating sweet ice cream every day. As it turned out, the secret ingredient used by the father was supposed to lure children and teenagers to always want ice cream. I was bullied at school. I was beaten, humiliated, insulted. My father liked to sell ice cream on his own, despite the fact that he had many assistants that he made himself. And one day, he was selling ice cream as usual. And suddenly, an unknown reckless driver on a red truck hit my car and disappeared in an unknown direction. Father. I miss you so much. You were my only family, you were my support. I was hoping that you would help me get through this difficult moment in my life. But now I've grown up. I'm not what I used to be. I learned to live on my own. I worked a lot in the cafeteria during the day. I hated this job. Despite the fact that I grew up and learned to live like an ordinary person, I was haunted by thoughts of how I was bullied in childhood. And so, I worked during the day, and in the evening, I studied my mother's diary, as well as all the drawings of my late father. And it seems the time has come to prove to everyone that the best ice cream maker is Rod Sullivan.
It's so good, to sit at home, by the fireplace, and doesn't worry about anything. Speaking of worrying, do we have everything ready for tomorrow? I have already checked several times. Everything is exactly on the list. This time, we won't forget anything. Only you always forget. Speaking of memory, did you remember to fill the mask with liquid nitrogen this time? Damn it! You're right! I forgot to fill the mask with nitrogen. Stay where you are. I do not know what you are up to, man, and what you want, but listen to me. You better get home to your family before it's too late. I'll make you bring all the kids back. A shot. Rob no. What happened? Rod, I promise you. I'll find out who did it. And he will pay for it. So, we arrived. Well, how do you feel, Jay? I don't know if I'm sad or happy, really. Jay, this fucker will finally be executed. How can you be sad? The old chapter of our life ends, and the new one begins. Come on, let's meet it with a smile on our faces. Hello guys, Jay, is that you? You did come. I thought you would chicken out. No, I'm not a chicken at all. I'm kidding, take it easy. Are you DH animation? Thank you for doing cool animations. I will always be thankful to you. Don't mention it, I just do my job. Thank you, thank you. Thank you a thousand times. Because you're an animator, a specialist in animation field. Tell me about yourself, I need to know everything. M, one, two, and three. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, good afternoon, Liz. Joseph Sullivan, and what are you doing here? I came to see my adopted son's death. Ahem. <clears throat> Good evening, young ladies. Drink one of these. It will help you through this difficult time. Look, I think it's William. I'll go say hello. Well, well, everything is ready. <laughs> <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, you can enter in an orderly manner. Keep quiet, please.
little chubby kids! Get out of there now! Oh! Jay, what do we do now? We can't hold him forever. Charlie, where have you been for so long? How did you manage to run into Rod? Sorry guys, it happened by accident. Alright, fat guys. Hold on. What's he up to? I think we'd better move away from the door. Well Rod, you've finished playing, I'll kill you. Hurry up, let's get out of here. Let's hurry up before Rod comes to his senses. No one has been able to escape from my factory yet. <laughs> I feel sorry for you. Because you just didn't understand who you were dealing with. Rod, is that you? This is the only available way out of this place. We need to find a way to open the gate. Are you really going to walk home? It's going to take forever. What do you suggest? Leave in Rod's car? Hmm. This is a very good idea, but we need to find the keys to the van. I have a key. But it's useless, because none of us can drive a car, and besides, the van is broken, Rod has been trying to fix it for several weeks. We can leave here, trust me, and I'll fix the van now, give me the keys. Hello Rod. We finally met. Who are you? What are you doing in my factory and how do you know my name? I know your name because I gave it to you. Mom! You're my mom! Yes Rod. It's me. Your mom. But what's the matter with you? What's wrong with your face? Where have you been all 43 years of my life? Let's talk about this later. I wonder how you're doing. Well, me. I don't even know where to start. What the hell is going on there? Well, Jay, you didn't believe me. Everything works. Hmm, impressive. Now it's just left to get as far away from here as possible. Guys, get in. Charlie, hurry. What are you doing there? And how did I not notice you right away? Charlie, where are you going? We need to get out of here as soon as possible. There you are. Huh? Shabby boy. Ah! 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 Little scoundrels. You'll see. I'll get to you yet. And I will avenge everything. Don't do it, son. You have already taken revenge on everyone. Leave all the anger in the past and live in peace. Life itself will punish everyone who mocks you.
What kind of monster are you? Please don't eat me. After a group of children safely escaped from the Rod's factory, Rod Sullivan wasn't upset about it at all, because he finally met his mother, whom he had wanted to see for so long. Now, Rod is doing the same thing he used to do, selling his delicious ice cream, but he no longer freezes and kidnaps children. Rod has become kind. Come on, come on, don't be shy. Today's ice cream is especially delicious, because I made it with love. Hey kids, I'm giving out free ice cream to absolutely everyone. Hurry up and run here. Hey, where are you going? Wait, don't leave. I have a lot of delicious ice cream. What the hell is going on there? Hey, you promised free ice cream. I want a lot of free ice cream. No need to be nervous. Now I'll treat everyone. Hey, you freak. Why did you come here? This is my territory, and I'm an ice cream here. What? Why did you freeze these innocent children? Hello, Rod. I've been waiting for our meeting for so long, and now we finally met. How do you know me? And why did you want to meet me? I've been waiting for our meeting to kill you. <laughs> Why aren't you frozen? Run, Rod! Run! You can't run away from me! Who was this Jack? And why does he want to kill me? It's good that I managed to escape from him. Who are you? I, the real son of Joseph Sullivan, am Ronald Sullivan, and I, the rightful heir to his entire fortune. The ice Cream Factory belongs to me, not you. Mom, Dad, I woke up. Mom? Dad? Where are you? Where did everyone go? Jay, your dad and I went to Granny's to help her make a big sweet pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving. We'll be back tomorrow. Be careful and don't let strangers in. Kisses, your mom and dad. Great. I'm left alone. I hope they left me food before leaving. Hey Jay, why aren't you picking up the phone for so long? We've agreed to meet at 10 in the morning at your house. I've been waiting for you for half an hour. 
Come out already. Sorry, Liz. I forgot to set an alarm. I'm coming out already. Oh crap, it's gone out of my head that we had agreed to meet. Hi Jay. Be quick. Charlie and Mike are going to the secret hideout. I want us to outrun them and be there sooner. Hello, mister. I would like to buy ice cream, please. Ah! Mm. 